Hey there, this is Kamal, and in this video, we're going to see how we can host a website using Cloudways. So, let's get this started. Okay, so before going further, what is Cloudways? So, Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform. So, it uses other cloud based solutions like AWS, GCP, or DigitalOcean at the base and creates an application layer on top of that, which is much more user interactive and also much more easy to operate than creating your own servers and managing them directly. If you already dealt with AWS or GCP, you might have already known that it's quite a bit tiring to actually set up your own server and install all the dependencies and make it so that everything is working perfectly. So now that that's out of the way, let's see how we can actually host our own websites. So this is the Cloudways website. The link for this will be available in the description down below. And a quick disclaimer, the link that is there is actually an affiliate link. So if you use that link to sign up and create your account, then that would mean a small commission would be sent to Packet Code community. So if you want to help our community build up and also make it so that all the videos here are free for everyone forever, then please do use that link to sign up as that would help us a lot. And if you already use that link to sign up, then we have our eternal gratitude. Okay, so now that that is done, so let's now actually see how we can create your own servers. So I'm gonna click on start free. The first thing is that you have to sign up for a free account. So you can use any of these social media platforms or you can manually enter them. So I'm gonna do that. I would best describe myself as a freelance developer and my monthly hosting spending is around zero to fifty dollars. And as for the promo code, I think it is packet code, but if it is something else, then I'll display it on the screen right now. And once you're done with that, you can agree and click on start free. So the thing is that once you're done with signing up to avail the free trial, you have to actually send an email to this email account. That is av at cloudways.com. They do this because they want to actually block spam accounts. So you can send an email to them saying that you would like to test your website on the platform. So it would be helpful if your account is verified and that free trial is started. So once you send that email, since you're a real person, automatically you will be verified. And once you're verified, then you can open Cloudways and log into your account. So I have already done that with my primary account. So I'm gonna log into mine. So this is the dashboard. And as you can see, there's nothing available here. And that is because you didn't actually have any server set up. So let's first do that. So I'm gonna click on launch and here you have to select the application type. So you have multiple options available. You can go with a WordPress app or a PHP app or Laravel or Magento or Drupal, OpenCart, PrestaShop or Zoomla. So you can choose any of these. And for this video, I'm gonna go with a custom PHP app. Then you have to name your application. So it's gonna be packet code. Then you have to name your managed server and you have to select your project. And since I've already used this for testing purposes, I already have a project set up, but if not, it might be empty here and you have to select or name your project. So as I've said at the start of this video, we can select your own server. And for this video, I'm gonna go with the AWS version. And here you can actually choose the server size. So it goes from small, that is two version CPU and two GB RAM, two CO 24 Excel with 96 V CPU and one and two GB RAM. So you can choose any of these. And the benefit of choosing AWS is that you can downscale or upscale it anytime you want. And I'm gonna leave it as it is with the default values. And then you can select the location of your server. And since I'm in India, I'm gonna select the Mumbai version, Asia Pacific. And at the bottom, it's gonna show you how much it's gonna cost you to actually go for these options. So it's gonna cost you around $0.0631 per hour. That is $45.41 monthly. Then once you've done with that and selected everything else, then you can click on launch now. So as you can see here, it's showing me that it's adding the server and this is gonna take some time. So wait for a few minutes and refresh the page once in a while. So I'm gonna see you once this is done set up. Okay, so we're done with that. And it took me around 10 minutes to actually get set up. So you have to wait for a while. So now, as you can see here, we have two options. The first one is the server and the second one is the applications. So right now we are in the server configuration. So if I click on this and it's gonna open my server configurations and these are my master credentials. So if I want to have an SFTP account access or an SSH access, I have to use these. This is the public IP, the username and the password. And here, if you want, you can create your own SSH public keys as well. And you can actually launch the terminal from here and use it from the browser itself. You don't have to actually go and open your terminal or your partial in Windows. 
So you can select that and ask, accept the risk and continue. That is going to open the shell. So you can actually enter your login details and it's going to give you access to it. So that is one way of doing it or you can use a terminal as well. So the main thing here is that if you go to the manage services section, as you can see, Apache and Nginx are running by default. So you can install them and also MySQL is running. So everything which is related to a basic PHP website is done. So you can directly deploy your website and do the configurations for the database and your website will be live in seconds. And another main thing is that you can actually select and upgrade your packages directly from here. So if you go to settings and packages here, you can actually increase the execution limit, the upload size, the memory limit, and also every other detail. So everything can be done from here. You don't have to actually change any of the configurations files, which are directly present in your server. You can directly do it from the visual interface as well. The last main setting that you have to see is the SMTP. So if you want to set up your email services, you have to set it from here. So you can select your own SMTP. That is, you can use any of the services provided here, like Mailgun or Mandrel or SendGrid or any of the other services. You can use that or you can use the Elastic Email add-on, which is given by Cloudways as well. So those are the details regarding the server. Now let's go to the applications. So I'm going to click on applications and this is the app that we had created. So I'm going to click on that. So these are the application details. And as you can see here, we have another application credential section. So here as well, you can create a username and password. So the main difference between these credentials and the one that we had seen in the server is the fact that if you use the credentials from the servers, you're going to automatically go to the root directory. But if you use the application credentials from here, you're going to go to the application root, not the root of your server. Okay. So if you have multiple applications set up on your server, you can use these username and password to go to the application root. And if you use the username and password for the server, you're going to go to the root of the server in which all the applications are listed out. So other than that, you also have your domain management. So if you want to link your domain, you can do that as well. So you have to first buy your domain. And once you're done buying that, you can enter the primary domain name here and then click on save changes and that's going to add it. And right now, this is the domain that we have been given from Cloudways. So if you want, you can add your domain here and click on more details to see how we can set up your record. That is the A record inside your domain so that it points to this particular hosting. That is the Cloudways hosting. Other than that, you can create cron jobs as well and you can use the SSL certificate. And by default, Cloudways provides you with an let's encrypt SSL certificate. So you can use that to have a free SSL certificate. Okay. So you can enter your email address and domain name and click on install certificate. And that's going to give you a free SSL certificate. And also one other thing is that if you go to the access details section here, you can launch a database management from here directly. So if I click on that, that is going to open MySQL database management system. So here, as you can see, we have the database selected directly and you can you can use this click command prompt to write queries and execute them or you can also import or export tables from here and you can use the visual interface to create the tables as well so that is more of an user interactive interface but if you want you can use the terminal version by using the ssh access and doing that manually in the terminal and if you want to actually use the SSH access, you have to first go to the application settings. And here you have to enable SSH access. If you enable this, only then you'll be able to access your server from the terminal. So those are the main settings that you have to worry about when you create your server. So let's now actually see how we can host our website. So there's actually three ways of doing this. The first one is to use an FTP. So if you go to the access details here, you can create a username and password. So let's say I'm going to give it as Kamal and also you have to enter a password. And once you're done with that, you can click on add and that is going to add an account here. And once you're done with that, you can use any of the FTP clients like let's say FileZilla. And in here, you can actually paste your public IP in the host section, username here and the password here and 21 for the port and click on quick connect. And that is going to give access to the files present on your server. That is one way of doing those things. The second way is to use the SSH access. So let's say I'm going to open my terminal and to connect to the server, you have to type in SSH, then your username minus comma at the rate, and then you have to paste the IP address of this particular application. Once you're done with that, you can click on enter. Then it's going to ask if you want to connect or not. I'm going to type in yes, and then you have to enter your password. 
So now I have access through the SSH terminal. So if I list out all my files, right now there is only one file called as index.php and this is the file which is being shown on my website right now. So you can access your website from here. You can click on this and it's gonna open this thing and this is the default website file. So now I can actually remove this file and add my own files here as well. And as I've said earlier, if you use the server root details, that is the username and password which is given for the server, then you'll be redirected to this place. So if you list it out, this is the place or the location to where you'll be redirected to. So now if you want to go to the public HTML, then you have to go to the home section. In that, you have to go to whatever is given as .cloudways.com. So it's going to be four, six, and I'm going to enter that. And in that, you have to go to this ZU. In that, you have the public HTML. And that is the same folder that we had got access to using the application credentials. Okay, so that is the main difference between using these application details and the server credentials. Okay, so in here, you can use your Git to actually clone your project onto the system. So you can go to the GitHub where your project is hosted, click on code and copy this URL. Once that URL is copied, then you can type in git clone and the URL and then click on enter and that is going to clone your project onto this folder. And that is the second way of doing this. Now the third and the easiest way to actually do this is to link your GitHub project directly to your Cloudways application. So here you can go to deployment via git. And in here, you have to first generate an SSH key. So I'm going to click on generate SSH key and that is going to generate one. So if you now click on view SSH key, it's going to show this key. You can click on this and that's going to get copied. Now you have to go to your GitHub account and go to settings of your account. So I'm going to go to my settings. And in here, as you can see, you have the SSH and GPG keys. You have to click on that. And I already have a Cloudways key. This is there because I was testing this before. So I'm going to delete that. So I'm going to delete that. And then I'll create a new SSH key. And here you have to paste it. Let me give it as YouTube. And click on add SSH key. You have to confirm your password. Now that will be added. Then go to the place where your project is hosted. So I'm going to go to my project. Okay, so this is the project, right? So I'm gonna click on code once again. And this time, instead of actually copying this URL, I'm gonna copy the SSH version of this. So you click on use SSH, then this will be displayed. You can click on copy and that will be copied. Now go to the cloud base and here add this. So this is the remote address for your Git project. Once you've added that, click on authenticate. And once that is authenticated, it's gonna directly select your master branch and it's going to give the path to where it's going to clone that project. By default, public HTML is selected. I'll leave it as it is and I'll click on start deployment. So it's going to take a few seconds to actually get deployed. And once the deployment is done, it's going to show you two options. The first one is the pull and the second one is remove. So whenever you make any changes to your GitHub repository, automatically you can click on pull and that is going to update your project present inside your server. So now if I go to my project website, that is the domain and refresh the page, as you can see here, the project has been updated with the project that we had in the GitHub repository. So now if I go to my SSH terminal and list it out once again, as you can see here, the index.php file has been replaced with these three files. And these were the files that were present inside my GitHub repository. So that is how you link your cloud base to your Git and directly deploy it onto your server. But the main problem is that whenever you make any changes on this, then you have to go to your server once again and you have to click on pull. So if there are multiple changes, you have to pull each and every time that you make a single change. So to automate this, we have another option and that is to extend onto this and use webhooks which are by default present in GitHub. So in the next video, we're going to see how we can do the exact same thing using Google Cloud Platform. And also in that video, I'm going to show you how you can use webhooks to automate this process so that you don't have to actually click on pull each and every time that you make a change.
So now you might be wondering why we have to use Cloudways when we can directly use AWS or GCP or DigitalOcean directly. The thing is that if you're a technical geek and you're into servers and managing all of those tiny details, then it's easy for you to actually set up your own server and install all the dependencies and make it so that everything works perfectly. But if you're not that much into these specifications and you just want to have cloud hosting benefits, but you don't want to deal with all of that server deployment and server management, then you can use an option like this, which is a managed cloud hosting, where it's like a one-stop solution to your cloud hosting. And as you've seen already, it's pretty simple compared to creating your own server and making it work. And also a disclaimer, the cloud-based pricing is a bit more compared to your AWS server. And that's obvious because everything related to the cloud management is being done by Cloudways and you're just clicking a simple button and trying to manage everything from the user interactive interface. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you like what I've seen till now. If you did, then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.